if I am going to be teaching, so it's, let's say I'm starting a brand new school year and I'm a high school teacher and I'm going to be teaching graphic design again in 2023, 2024 school year. If I want to, and I really like the way I taught, I nailed it down, I taught graphic design correctly, um, and I liked a lot of what I did, I can re, I can copy the whole class. So I'm going to copy my Panther period class. And if I go to these three dots, I can hit copy and I can give it a different name. I can copy, call it Panther period. Um, fall 2023, if I'm teaching juniors or my Panther period, which is a homework period for us, um, I'm going to hit copy. And depending on how large your class is and how many files it has, this could take some time. So um, I'm going to open up a new tab. And it's, you can see it's creating my class. But I created one a minute ago, a copy, so that you can see what it looks like. And there's nothing here. It does have the code. I can create a Google Meet link. But all of the classwork copied over, but it's in draft form. So I know my students need these links. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them and just post them. And now that's a solid link. And I'd go ahead and put these in. Or like tutoring next year might not be on September starting on September 26. But the poster is generally the same for it. And my classroom is generally the same. So I can just kind of edit this information if I need to. And maybe tutoring will start on the 20th next year. And I want that in announcements. I can post it. So as these assignments come up, I can post them. Um, or, you know, maybe I don't need this one next year, or maybe I need it earlier. Um, I can move them around and adjust them, and I can recycle a class so I don't have to go in there and post everything. So I can recall a whole class so I'm ready to go for a whole semester and adjust as needed. Nice, right?